for stopping by. In today's Baked Beauties video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a holiday trifle and not any holiday trifle. We're going to be making this beauty right here. I am calling this my Holiday Hazelnut Heaven Trifle. This is absolutely beautiful. It is a huge dessert to share with your loved ones this holiday season and it is absolutely delicious. There are a lot of different components to this trifle. It is pretty time consuming, but we're gonna go through each step together, starting with the triple hazelnut cake, then going right into the Nutella frosting. I'm also gonna show you how to make some hazelnut whipped cream, and then I'm gonna show you how to put this whole thing together. So like I said, it's pretty time consuming, so let's go ahead and hop in the kitchen and get baking. First we'll need two tablespoons plus three and a third cup of cake flour divided four room temperature eggs, a third of a cup of frangelico, one teaspoon hazelnut extract, one and three quarter cups of granulated sugar, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of fine grained sea salt, one cup of peeled and chopped hazelnuts, three sticks of room temperature unsalted butter, and 7 eighths of a cup of buttermilk plus another 3 tablespoons of unsalted room temperature butter. I'm first taking a lightly greased cookie sheet and tossing my hazelnuts across the sheet, placing it into a 350 degree preheated oven for 6 minutes to toast. While those are toasting, lightly beat the 4 eggs with a whisk. Then add in the frangelico as well as the hazelnut extract and whisk together until blended, then set aside. Then we're going to place the 3 and 1 third cups of cake flour, baking powder, baking soda, salt, sugar, and our now toasted hazelnuts into a large bowl of an electric stand mixer and combine on low speed until blended. Add the butter. I recommend one stick at a time. And the buttermilk, as well as that extra three tablespoons of butter, and beat on a low speed until the dry ingredients are moistened. Increase the speed to medium and beat for two and a half minutes, scraping the sides occasionally. In three separate additions, add the egg mixture to the batter, beating for 30 seconds in between each addition. Divide the batter into two greased and parchment lined cake pans. Bake on the center rack of that 350 degree preheated oven for 40 to 45 minutes or until a toothpick inserted into the center of each cake comes out clean. Meanwhile, take 4 tablespoons of unsalted room temperature butter, 4 tablespoons of all-purpose flour, 1 cup of granulated sugar, 1 cup of heavy whipping cream, 1 cup of peeled, chopped, and toasted hazelnuts, a fourth of a teaspoon of fine grained sea salt, a tablespoon of frangelico, one teaspoon of hazelnut extract, and two tablespoons of finely chopped bittersweet chocolate. Mine's from Ghirardelli. Melt the butter on medium heat in a saucepan, then sprinkle the flour and whisk together to make a roux, which is pretty much just a thickening agent. Reduce the heat to medium low and add the sugar and cream and whisk together constantly for 7 to 10 minutes until the mixture thickens. So once that has started to thicken up, we're going to go ahead and stir in the toasted hazelnuts, the salt, Frangelico, hazelnut extract, then the chocolate, and cook just until the chocolate melts. Mm -hmm. 
set aside in a bowl and allow it to cool completely. By now our cakes should be ready to come out of the oven. So we're going to take them out and let them cool in the cake pans for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, we're going to remove the cakes from the pans onto wire racks, discard the parchment paper, and allow the cakes to cool completely for one to two hours. While that's cooling, take one cup of unsalted room temperature butter, two cups of powdered sugar, two thirds of a cup of Nutella, a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, a pinch of sea salt, and two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream, then in a stand mixer with the paddle attachment, beat together the butter and powdered sugar, which I recommend adding in very slowly, on a low speed until well blended. Once that's blended, go ahead and add in the Nutella. Then increase the speed to medium and beat for two minutes. After two minutes, add in the vanilla extract and whip for an additional 30 seconds. Add the whipping cream and beat for about one minute until the frosting lightens slightly in both color and texture. So you should be left with something that looks like this, which I'm going to place into a bowl and set aside. With one cup of heavy whipping cream, two tablespoons of granulated sugar, and a teaspoon of hazelnut extract, place the whipping cream, sugar, then hazelnut extract into a preferably chilled mixing bowl and whip just until the cream reaches stiff peaks. I like to start on a low speed and gradually increase the speed to medium high for a couple of minutes. Once you're done, you're going to end up with some delicious hazelnut whipped cream and this makes about one and a half to two cups of whipped cream. Once the cakes are cooled, we're going to split each layer horizontally in half to make four separate layers. And take that hazelnut filling and we're going to spread equal amounts of the hazelnut filling between each layer. Now it's finally time to assemble the trifle. So we're going to put the cakes together and place the first cake as the bottom layer into our trifle glassware. Mine was a little big, but that's okay. I just pushed them in there. And then we are going to add a layer of the Nutella buttercream frosting as well as a layer of the hazelnut whipped cream. I also took some fresh strawberries, sliced them nicely, and arranged them around and on the cake because I just love the combination of hazelnut and strawberry. Then go ahead and add the second cake, which actually, as you can see, broke on me. But again, that's okay. We'll just push them in there and add another layer of the Nutella buttercream frosting. Then a final layer of the hazelnut whipped cream. And then finally finishing it off with some strawberry slices. I 
recommend placing it in the refrigerator overnight to set, but that completes my Holiday Hazelnut Heaven trifle. I really hope that you enjoyed watching. If you don't have a trifle glassware, you could always just make the cakes with the hazelnut filling, frost it with the buttercream Nutella frosting, and decorate it with the strawberries, and then when you serve it, you can serve it with a dollop of the hazelnut whipped cream. That would be an awesome alternative to the trifle. So that's going to do it for today's Baked Beauty. I'm going to enjoy all of that hard work with a piece of this delicious dessert. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I hope that you have a beautiful day and a happy holidays. Bye! For a list of ingredients and recipes to the sweets shown in this video, check out my blog at truebeautylieswithinyou.blogspot.com. And for more entertainment and other videos from me, be sure to check out marriagemagazine.com.